Alrighty hosses, welcome back and in this tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to add a box and later on we're going to be talking about layouts and the different kinds of ways that you can lay objects out in your window but for right now I want to cover the concept of a box which is essentially an invisible container that you can stick widgets inside of. So you can actually use a box inside your different types of layouts, but for right now it's important to cover. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's write box right there. So in order to make a box, just write self box or whatever you want to name it. And it's GTK not border box. All right. So one of the properties that you can add right now is spacing. So again, like I said, a box is just an invisible container that you can put other widgets inside. Now, whenever you start sticking widgets inside there, if you don't want them butted up right up against each other, you can add some spacing. So if I said the spacing with 10, this says, let's say that we're gonna add two buttons inside it. They're not gonna be butted up. They're gonna be separated by 10 pixels. Simple enough. Now self add, what we're gonna do is in order to add this box, to the window, self box, there you go. So now we have a window and we have an invisible box inside that we're gonna stick things in. That sounds kind of weird, sticking things in a box. You know what, I'm just gonna keep moving on right now. And in this little demo, I'm just gonna add two buttons in there and I'll just write bacon on one of them and tuna on another one, so bacon button. Just because, I don't know. You can write like yes and no, but bacon and tuna, why the heck not? So self dot, I'll just name this bacon button. And this is equal to GTK button. All right, so let me just make these really simple. I'll just write some simple text on everyone. I'll, I won't add any weird properties or anything like that. But what I'm gonna do is on bacon button, I am gonna say whenever the user clicks the button, then we're gonna call a method, and I didn't program this yet, but it's gonna be called um, like baking clicked. And I'll do this for tuna as well. And the last thing I'm gonna do for each button is I actually wanna make sure that it it's going inside that box. That's kind of the point of this tutorial. And I'm also gonna call pack start. Now you see whenever I type pack, that two things pop up, pack start and pack end. Now if we write pack start, just like this, what pack start essentially is, is a way that you can position your items inside your box. Now pack start means as we add items to the box, just add them from left to right. So kind of the way that you would expect, but if for some reason you wanna add them in reverse, and the first item you add goes all the way on the right, then you can use pack end. Now, of course, the property for this is self bacon button. And the parameters are, first of all, what add what item do you want to add to the box? Well, that's our bacon button, the only one we have right now. And there are some other ones too, and I'm going to be talking to you guys more about these. These are just um, kind of different ways that like padding and fill and some other settings too. But whenever we talk about layouts, I'll talk to you guys about exactly what these are. It's gonna be confusing if um, I try to explain it right now. And zero. So again, these are just different ways that you can space and pad your item, but it's gonna make more sense later on. So now let me just add a tuna button and let me just copy this and change everything to tuna. So just write tuna. and start replacing everything. So tuna, 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 chameleon. Uh, uh, all right, did I get it all? Better not see bacon anywhere. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Looks beautiful, all right. So we created a window, an invisible box, and we now have two buttons inside of our box. Now, of course, we hooked up their click functionality to methods that we didn't create yet. So let's just go ahead and make sure I got everything nice in order. Create those right now. So def 
baking clicked self widget all right so whenever you click the bacon button i'll just write print you clicked uh bacon wow how creative and do the same thing for tuna so def tuna clicked self widget all right you clicked tuna so there you go let me go ahead and run this bad boy and see if it works all right so there we go and remember up here that we said we're creating a box and we're also adding a spacing of 10 pixels and that's why you see that whenever i started to add items to it it didn't just butt them right up against each other they're actually separated by 10 pixels i probably should have made that more so you guys could have uh seen a little bit more clearly what's going on but whatevs and another thing i want to point out is you see that bacon is first and then tuna is second now again if you want to change this around for whatever reason then you want to change this pack start to pack end so now whenever you click bacon it says you click bacon you click tuna bacon and there you go and what you can also do is instead of having two separate methods right here since they're so similar you can actually make just one generic clicked method and call it on both of these and then instead of saying you clicked bacon, you can just, just say you clicked and then get the label. Actually, that's your homework assignment. So as your homework assignment, what I want you guys to do instead of having a separate bacon clicked and tuna clicked right here, I want you to just have one function that says clicked and they're both going to call it and then whenever you click it, it's going to say you clicked. And remember in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how you can get the property of a widget. So you're going to get the label and print that out. So if you guys can do it, then congratulations. You, you don't win anything, but I'll, uh, you know, it'll be cool because I don't know, in your mind, in your mind, you will win. All right. So there you go, that is the basics of boxes, and you guys are gonna see later on, like I said, when we learn about layouts, just how useful these boxes can be. So see you then.